down the line, do you think we'll use cash at all? No. 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 Even for emergency situations, isn't there the argument to be made that we need something physical, even just for security purposes? No. Cash, from your perspective, from a merchant's perspective, is the least secure form of payment. You know, if you have a $5 bill and you drop it on the floor it's and somebody picks it up, it's gone. And then we increase the security really with debit and credit cards. Those are more secure. And finally, now paying with your phones is even more secure than physical credit cards. And so we think the evolution of that is actually great for the industry, it's great for consumers, it's great for merchants. We see in many countries where digital payments have grown faster than the U.S. Yeah. That, it, that it really does have the potential to completely replace cash. The way physical stores are even changing is astounding. When we look to the future of retail, will we even need cashiers? If you think about uh, stores, an example where you already have more self-checkout, that actually frees up uh, associates in the store to help consumers with uh, things like answering their questions and giving more what I would call value-added service. We can use technology to completely replace the checkout process and we think associates in our stores spend more time helping customers learn about our technology, use our technology. We don't see it at all as a replacement for labor, we see it as a way to improve the experience. We are certainly having a moment. You're beginning to see bad behavior, sexual harassment, all sorts of things come to the surface in Silicon Valley. Uh, that have been bubbling for a long time. I'd be curious to know, are you surprised? It's no secret that in Silicon Valley we have uh, less women representation than we would like. I, uh, in my own career, have been very lucky and have been privileged really to work at a company like Apple where diversity is important and where it's a core value and where we're working really hard to make sure uh, that the environment that we create is a great place to work. I'm sure a lot of women come to you and they ask for advice. A lot of other tech companies are, as we've seen, are struggling with this. This is a Silicon Valley problem. This is, uh, let's be honest, a, a problem we're facing in our country. So what do you tell yourself and what do you tell other people when it comes to navigating some of this stuff? As challenging as it is to hear these stories, I think one of the, the great things is that the dialogue is happening. That's really important to increase awareness of how we need to change the culture. In terms of giving advice, I always, you know, pick Pick who you work for carefully, pick the companies uh, that have great values, um, and use those as criteria. What kind of values do you try to instill? We are a company of debate. And one of the reasons diversity is so important in a company like Apple that's building products for you know, hundreds of millions of consumers is that in order to get to the right answers, to make the right trade-offs, it's important that we hear diverse perspectives and we hear it in a way where people are comfortable really voicing their opinion. And so I encourage um, everyone who works with us to have that debate, to voice their opinions, because again, that's the only way you're gonna get to uh, the best answers for the broadest set of customers.